dear brothers and sisters of Berlin, Kurumjari Namaste. My name is Lisipriya Kangaja. I'm 11 years old, Indian climate activist and the founder of the child movement. I'm also the special envoy for the president of Timor Leste. I'm coming here all the way from India by traveling thousands of kilometers to tell the rich country nations to pay for the loss and damage caused by the climate crisis to the global south. Today's global climate crisis is caused by the rich nations, and we are just the victims of it. Of it. Children are dying due to war in Ukraine. Children are dying due to earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Children are dying due to air pollution and heat wave crisis in India. Children are dying due to flash floods in Pakistan. Children are dying due to starvation in Ethiopia. And children are out of school to fetch water from a very long distance in Africa. Millions of children like me are losing their lives, losing their parents and homes due to climate disasters. Sacrificing the lives of the millions of innocent children for the failures of our leaders is unacceptable at any cost. And instead of spending billions of dollars on wars, if we spend it on ending poverty, giving education, and fighting climate change, then what a wonderful place our Earth would be. As for various boats, 40% of the insect population has gone. 69% of our forest has gone. And 40% of the Himalayan glaciers has gone and 70% of the wildlife species has gone. There is no mystery to widespread vanishing species so rapidly. We are the cause. There are too many of us demanding too much from our Mother Earth, but we are the top protector. That's why I started child movement in India with the children to defend our planet. There is a long history of lies by our leaders. That's why our planet is in a irreparable damage today. If there's no nature, then there will be no food, no growth, and no security, and no future. Don't forget why you are here today. You are not here to give some few speeches to get some claps from the audience and to forget what you are talk talking here. Stop telling beautiful speeches in every event, conference, and platforms. Our future lies in your hands now. The forest belonging to the indigenous tribal people, like Amazon rainforest in Brazil and Hasdeo forest in Chhattisgarh, is sold out by our leaders to big companies for coal mining and other illegal activities. Not just destroying our planet and our future, it snatched away the forest and land rights of this indigenous tribal people. This is unacceptable at any cost. My country, India, is facing lots of environmental issues like floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts, forest fire, glaciers burst, etc. at the same time. These are all the impact of climate change. And deforestation must be an international crime. Latest IPCC report says that climate crisis is caused by human activities. But it's really caused by our leaders due to lack of political wills. Small island countries like Maldives are submerging inside the sea. Many rivers and lakes are now dry and dead. Frequent cyclones are devastating our homes and habitats of countless and voiceless animals are now being used for mining. While fires are killing millions of innocent animals every year. And many forests have been transformed into deserts. This is not the change we want. And if you don't know how to fix it, then please stop breaking it. The ministers of forest, environment and climate change means to protect our forest, 
environment and the climate, not to protect the people who you care. You still don't panic about the climate crisis. What you panic is throwing a tomato soup on a sunflower art and arresting, silencing the voice of the climate activist. There is no value of an expensive art, luxurious car, or a beautiful home and money on a dead planet. We must change our behavior to save our planet. Young people, civil societies, must hold lawmakers accountable for their political decisions. When our politicians fail, it means the first line of victim will be your children. Climate education must be mandatory in every school education curriculum. There will be no climate justice without climate... There will be no climate uh, solution without climate education. And our governments must work together to manage a just transition away from coal, oil and gas, which are the top cause of today's global climate crisis. And rich country nation must pay now for the loss and damage to the poor vulnerable countries. There will be no climate justice without climate finance. I have a dream where there are more bicycles on roads instead of more motor vehicles. I have a dream where all the coal power plants and thermal power plants are replaced by clean renewable energies. I have a dream where all the children living in this world have the access to clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean planet to live. And asking clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and clean planet to live is all our basic rights. Your action today will decide our future tomorrow. My generation is already the victims of global climate crisis. I don't want our future generations to face the same consequences or even worse because of your action today. Thank you, Jehan Sanaleva Manipurne Thank you once again. <laughs>